Dude, dude, you were standing the ref, the ref literally let us play. Yo, it doesn't matter, bro. I would have caught you with round ball. It doesn't matter. If I shot you at that distance with round ball, it would have hit you either way. So I don't know why you're crying. What's up guys, we're back at PRZ for part two of this video. We're on the defense side. A lot of controversial stuff and arguments in this video, so there's gonna be a lot of swearing, but nonetheless, some great gameplay. Let's get right into this. Our team starts in the first floor of the three-story. Me and Sean start in this corner over here, while our teammates are in the other rooms of the three-story. Now there are only two staircases in the three-story that the blue team can attack us from, but halfway through the game, the blue team realizes that the staircases are a death trap, and they make a plan to attack us from the rear. Let's see how this works out for them. While Sean has his eye on the close staircase, I'm sniping all the way down the hallway to keep the enemies back as much as I can on the far staircase. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hey, don't forget to snipe that like and subscribe button for us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> When you're in the darkness for so long, your eyes adjust and you begin to see things that you were never able to see before. I got him. I got him. I got his sliver of a head, bro. Yo, I, what? What's up, bro? One's at the window. What window? Oh, I see him. I got him. I got one of them. Yeah, they're gone, bud. Just keep your eye on it. Yeah. At this point, we see our teammates coming out one by one. So we know that the blue team is slowly capturing that side of the three story. One got passed. One got passed. What he's at the yeah, okay. The far side. Yeah. Okay. Got him. Watch out, buddy. You're hit, bro. You're hit on your side. Whatever, dude. The first strikes. Why are you using it inside? Quit using the first strikes. Bro, it's paintball, man. Come on, you're playing MagFed event. Watch it! Holy shit. I shot you with a round ball! Yo, is that red? Is that a red guy? When the building is so we dark, it's hard to see what team people are on. But yeah, I usually always. say, if they're looking at you, they're on the enemy team. <laughs> okay, okay. Did you get hit? Red? 
Some people try to intimidate or use scare tactics to lure the enemy into surrendering themselves. But what I say is to stay calm, laugh at their attempt, never surrender, and let them know who's boss. <laughs> Where am I? Nope, you know, you good, bro. Yo, that was a good boy. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Some people think they hit you just because they shot in your direction in a gunfight. That's why we have referees. Shouts out to Synergy for having the best refs out there. Always in the front lines, in the action, ready to make the call. The ref let us play, bro. The ref, the ref literally let us play. Yo, it doesn't matter, bro. I would have caught you with round ball. It doesn't matter. If I shot you at that distance with round ball, it would have hit you either way. So I don't know why you're crying. Bro, you're literally making a bull rule. It's literally my fucking rule. It's the rules rule. All right, dude. You're snitching because you got killed, bro. This is one of the dumbest rules I've ever seen. So I could spray people full auto with round ball, but I can't shoot them once with a first strike? How can I shoot someone outside with first strikes, but I can't shoot them inside with first strikes? Later in the year, this rule got thrown out for the MagFed games because there's no logic behind it. After the game, me and that guy actually talked we apologized to each other, and it was all love. But we are now moving on to the second part of the defense game. Their team spawn is in the three-story now. Our team is positioned in the warehouse. Me and Sean are on this side. Their team will be attacking from these angles. Me and Sean focus on the courtyard, and the enemy is trying to attack us from the front. Remember, we have one life, and the attackers have unlimited lives. <laughs> <laughs> I want one like that. I want one like that, dude. Just look at how much joy first strikes bring to Sean. Do we really want to deny him of his joy and happiness and fulfillment in his life as a sniper? You're out, headshot. Yeah, I see them. I'm waiting until they move. You have the first strike. You have first strike? Yeah. Nice. Yo, guys, I got the right side. Okay. Oh, there he is. There he is. 
Nice, right nice. You got him, yeah, I got him. Woo! <laughs> the ref's walking over. <laughs> Alright, here they come. Wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. They're gonna stop right there. Yeah. They always do. <laughs> Anyone who runs, I got him. Anyone who peeks, I got him. Hey guys, watch the kitchen, eh? We need people watching the kitchen. Oh, okay. We got one one pass. Is that the PRZ uh, wood? Okay, sign? yo, PRZ. Here, I'm gonna go in the back. As a sniper, sometimes you gotta wait a long time for one shot. But when you get it, it's always worth it. I see him. He's gonna come out, and I'm gonna take him out. Yup, can't push up. Hit on their leg. Sean sees some guys behind us, so we position some teammates to watch our back. Yeah, yeah, check upstairs. I think they're behind us. He's behind us? So at this right, point bro, in the game, I'm torn between front, two plans. My original plan, to watch the courtyard and make sure no one passes. Behind and then now there's enemies there. attacking us from behind. Sometimes you have to scratch oh, the original plan it. just to save your own life. Huh? Oh. Yeah, well, that's good. I don't see him, Sean. Watch that window. I got them. Got both of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> That's actually my good oh, friend God. Griff from the Magfed Spartans. Shouts out Griff. Always killing it. You good up here, buddy? Yeah. Alright, yo, hold it down, eh? Hold it down nice. After clearing some enemies on my flank, I want to go back to my original plan of watching over the courtyard, making sure the enemies don't pass. How is it looking over there? Okay, I'm coming. After that exchange with the enemies, I start to get paranoid and keep running back to check my flank. Alright, okay, can you come over here and hold this window down for me? Because people came through this window, so I'm like, just like tripping. I already got four guys through that window. Okay, I'm gonna take one, them out slowly. I got one of them, I believe. Yeah, that window, eh? Watch the window. One of the main guys that got him, eh? The pistol's over there. Hit. Ooh. What? <laughs> And that's it, that's the end of part two. We ended up losing those two buildings, but stay tuned for part three, where you'll see us defend the last building. And a huge thank you to Tim and all of Synergy at PRZ. Man, you guys hold the best events in the game. And shouts out Sean from the Hitman. Without him, I wouldn't even have my sniper. And please let us know in the comment section if you wanna see his perspective on things. But that's all we have for now. We'll see you in the next one. And don't forget, Jesus is our Lord and Savior.